And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back, Vlog. Now, when I say we're back, I'm back, Luke's back, you guys are back, but the cutest marshmallow in the entire world has finally returned to the beautiful state of Utah. He's back, baby. Now, That's right, the King Floof has returned to his kingdom. I think Oscar put on a little bit of weight. I can't even carry him anymore. Now we got a lot to do in today's video. We have another broken car, imagine that. Uh, we're selling cars, imagine that. And uh, we're driving a single turbo Lamborghini Gallardo, and we're back. Now this is a cold startup on a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. It might go well, it, so, so yesterday didn't go very well. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, there is a plume of blue smoke coming out the exhaust. Generally speaking, that means the car is burning oil. This could mean a lot of things. Worst case scenario, the engine is blown up, we gotta rebuild it, and that cost me about $200,000. Best case scenario, there's some kind of small oil leak that is causing it to burn, and I don't know, I'm not technical, you're not technical, Luke's not technical, but Lamborghini Salt Lake is technical, so we're taking it there, and they're gonna fix it, hopefully soon. Maybe we'll be there for, I don't, I don't, I, I honestly have no idea. Now, obviously we're not gonna drive the events or roadster hard whatsoever today. We only have 8,895 miles on this car. You guys might remember this car has a salvage title. It rear-ended a police car at 4 a.m. in downtown Chicago. Obviously that was front end damage. It wasn't the engine. My Aventador Coupe has almost 30,000 miles on it. So if this needs an engine rebuild, that's on really, well obviously that's unfortunate. Well yes, the trend continues once again. And the last time we were here, I said I'd drop off a car once every three weeks. And now the new trend is we drop off a car every single week. Also, this SVJ is looking so sick. That color's insane. This car just sounds so good. And that purple in this spot is so incredible. All right, so we are headed that way in the full 5 -8. Now we could have a moment of silence for the engine on my Aventador, or we could just go. That's 9,000 to the moon. Let's go, baby. That's right. We might have a blown V12, but we got a straight pipe V8. You know what? Roger, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. That is so good. Wow. They, they just don't make them like they used to. And I said every single time I drive this car, and it's true, I'm not wrong. A Ford 8 doesn't sound like this. Oh, all right, I'm losing my voice and it is 12 a.m. Wait, wow. All right, all right, we are definitely at the right spot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lux Auto Spa on the Ford GT. I miss my Ford GT so much. I think, I think we need another one. I say it every video, you guys know what I know, but it's a gorgeous day here in Utah and the sun is just beaming down on the 458. All the glass, like it is actually glistening. Now I think of all the cars I have sold, there is one car that stands above the rest that I regret selling more than any other car. It is of course my old Ford GT. I think someday, one day, we gotta add another one to the collection. This one is so sick. So my buddy at Rev9, he just took delivery of this and that's exciting, that's way exciting because that's a Ford GT. We like Fords, but what we really like is Lamborghinis. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But behind this door is another car that we're driving right on now. I step away for two seconds. Dude, you're filming the wrong car, okay? Whatever, not everything's about bro. you, GT3. We're not here for this. We're here for that. GT3 is incredibly sick, but we have the keys to this car, a Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera, but this is not just any Superleggera. Now, before we start with the Superleggera, you guys gotta check out this Mitsubishi. Look at the paint on that thing. That is by far and away the most gorgeous paint I've ever seen on a Mitsubishi. It's almost the same color as Diablo SE30. I think we need that, we need that someday. It's always a special day when you're driving a Superleggera. Now, this is a manual Superleggera. You'll note, we still have carbon fiber paddles, and that's because it's an aftermarket conversion. Push in the clutch. Letter prime, letter prime, in neutral. So sick. 
You know what, Luke? You do work hard. I like you. I support you. I just bought the GT3. It's delivery time. Wow. I thought you were going to buy it with Mitsubishi. <laughs> I actually wow. talked to the owner of Lux and I was like, can you please get that car out of here? <laughs> Luke is drooling everywhere and it's incredibly embarrassing for our reputation because we have a very good reputation, right? Very, very high. We're very, very <laughs> annoying. We're the most annoying people in the world, but that is neither here nor there because... We have a Super Legera. Now, a lot of you guys might not realize this. We've seen this Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera. This car was actually at B Rogue built when I dropped off my Gallardo. It is the craziest, coolest car ever. It was in Canada at the time, and now somehow, some way, it's here in Utah. It's a manual swap Super Legera, but check this out. It's a single turbo. Is that not the most gorgeous fabrication work you guys have ever seen? Now we could stare at this, we could oogle at this all day long, but I reckon we go drive it. I'm only gonna say it one time, carbon fiber door panels are so sick. I'm having major envy right now. This thing is so sick. I'm not gonna stall it, Luke, okay? Mine. Okay, I'm, I'm Probably will. Right. But in my defense, you stalled one of my cars one time off camera. It's crazy. Everything always happens we on high camera. Or no, it did happen on camera. It just never made the vlog. No, I don't Imagine. remember any of that. Imagine that never that. happened. Never happened. Of course, a key detail on this car, objects in the mirror are losing. Already, I am gritted from ear to ear. It sounds so cool. I've had like no throttle whatsoever. Let's go. What? I, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can hear, but Luke and I are freaking out. That sounds so good. The whistle. <laughs> I'm trying my best to not be annoying in today's video. I'm trying not to scream, but this thing is so sick. It's so good. <laughs> what? There are just certain cars and you drive them in a certain way just to hear the engine because it sounds so good. I let off right there for no reason whatsoever. Back on the throttle. Like I'm gonna get three miles to the gallon driving this thing. It sounds so crazy. I've driven some fun cars. This might be the most fun car I've driven in several months. It's so good. It is so good. And with that gated manual, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Obviously, my guy Ardo, it's taken a little longer than we expected, but guys, it is gonna be so worth it. This car is sens it's sensational. It just has so much character. Don't worry, the windshield wipers are going. It's not right. Luke's copy, Luke's copy. It's just so good. Wow, dude, well done to be road built. This thing is so good. Wow, windshield wipers are still going. Come on, Luke. All right. Wow, this, like I said, we're very annoying. Off camera, we're even more annoying. I gotta say, that is one of the most fun cars I have ever driven. Massive shout out to Rev9 Group. He owns the manual Super Legere. That's also his Ford GT. He took delivery of both cars today. This is so sick. Okay, so unfortunately, we're not gonna be stealing the Super Legere. So back to the 458. Also, quick massive shout out to Lux Auto Spa. This car is dope. You hate to leave her here, but goodness gracious, anticipation level is at an all time high. Okay, so we gotta sell some cars. We are headed that way. Let's go! I realized we need a single turbo 458. Could you imagine? Well, we had one car break. We drove a single turbo Lamborghini, and now for the rest of the sequence in the vlog, we are unfortunately selling a car, and yes, we're selling the Porsche. No real reason, just because. Now, I know you guys, I can see you guys typing away. You care that I'm selling the 911 Safari, but what you really care about is that little monster right there? I'm scared. Hey, Luffy, we missed you. Did the Ferrari scare you? Now, as most of you guys may or may not know, the Safari has had some issues starting up, but that issue has been resolved. It has been fixed. The car needed a new starter. Everything is good to go. Fuel pump is priming, and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Every single time. No big deal, baby. Now, this car has just one issue, and the only issue with it, it's too nice. This car is too nice that you can't actually go wheel it in the dirt because you feel bad, but that's what it's built for. This car is built by Kelly Moss Racing. It's a 964, 911 Porsche Safari. It's like, it's like the singer level of a Safari, and unfortunately, I just don't drive it that much, and I know someone out there who's a Porsche collector wants this car. Now, in an unlikely sequence in the vlog, check it out. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Lamborghini of Salt Lake City, Utah. I promise you guys, we're not getting paid for this. They're just that good. So the event tour is done. It appears that the car had too much oil. They drained out the oil. They put it, they replenished. They replenished it with oil. So I think we're good to go. Luke is laughing at me and making fun of me because I don't know how to speak English. Please replenish my oil, sir. Thank that you. That makes sense. That is logically correct. That is factually correct. That is English vocabulary correct. Wow, my grammar there was awful. And on that bombshell, uh, this sequence is over and I turned on the blinker. Wow. Now I was specifically told by the boys at Lamborghini Salt Lake that I got a wrong motorcycle. 
Obviously, there's some residual oil left off that I gotta burn off. So, for the foreseeable future, we're gonna be sending it. This safari looks so cool on the road. I don't wanna sell it. But I have to I don't even want to do this. I have to. I have to burn off the residual oil. I, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I definitely. I didn't. It's so good. It's so good. Now, as I mentioned at the start of today's video, unfortunately, yes, we are selling two cars. We are selling the 911 964 Safari, but no, ladies and gentlemen, we are not. We will never, ever, my entire life, I will never sell the wide body Aventador Roadster. That being said, there is a second car that we are selling, and you may or may not have seen it. Well, the Urus. So yes, unfortunately, we are selling the Urus. And I know the Urus is such a cool vehicle. I've hardly done anything with it whatsoever. The problem with the Urus, it is worth actually more than the event, or both event doors. It's worth more. It's a four-seater Lamborghini. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. I have Oscar, but Oscar, don't tell him this, but he's not allowed to ride in the Urus because the interior is so nice. And so if I sell this, if I sell the Safari, we're going to take that money. We're going to buy something very, very, very sick. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna buy because I don't wanna ruin the surprise, but don't worry, don't fret. Like once we sell the Safari, once we sell the Urus, you guys are gonna be overjoyed with the car that we get. The Urus Safari are cool, but the car that we're gonna buy is like 15 times cooler. Every time I see this Safari, I, I question myself because it is such a cool vehicle. I just don't use it enough. So the tentative plan, if you wanna buy the Safari, I'm actually gonna do an auction on Bring a Trailer. The reason for that, this car is very hard to value and I feel like there's so many Porsche collectors on there that I think it's probably the best way to get top dollar. That being said, if somebody does wanna buy this Safari from me directly, send me an offer that I can't refuse and, and we'll make a deal and that'll be that. But as far as getting on Bring a Trailer, we gotta take some photos of the car this weekend. It should be on the site, I don't know, maybe in two, maybe three weeks. Obviously I'll keep you guys posted. Such a cool car, but I just feel like there's a Porsche collector out there who's gonna enjoy it maybe more than I am. Now, as far as the Urus, I'm gonna be selling this car directly. I'm looking for $299,000. Now, the spec on this thing is insane. Obviously, it's painted white under the red wrap. If you like the red wrap, buy the car as a red wrap. If you don't, we'll unwrap it for you, and it'll be painted white. The spec is so sick, though. You have the rear bucket seats. You have the integrated TVs as well. It has just over 8,000 miles. I think it has, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Really cool, cool, cool. 8,628 miles. So, $299,000. We just discovered yesterday, it also has massaging seats. That's a sales pitch. Well, there you have it. Yes, once again, we are selling a couple more cars. The Urus Safari, they're gonna be headed off to a better home here soon. If you are interested, be sure to hit me in the emails or the Instagram DMs. Uh, I think on that bombshell, Oscar, today's video is over. He's, he's legit the best dog in the entire world. If you have dog in me right now, kind of sort of understandable because he's that good. Today's video is over. So I just told Luke I'm gonna start vlogging and what are you doing as soon as I say that? There's music playing, so we're gonna get copyrighted, but then I realize it's you, so you'll never stop talking. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, that better make the vlog.